Hello friend, Sino here. Hi, how are ya? Hope you're well. Um, ignore my outfit. This was when I was perpetually villager hunting and I was just trying to summon stitches. It didn't work. I spent 400 tickets and got meringue, which is fine. But anyway, ignore my outfit. But as, as I just said, I was perpetually villager hunting and all I wanted to do was work on my island. I finally figured out the roads, how they're going to go, mapped everything out. So I was super excited to start working on my island. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to work on paving it as much as possible with whatever buildings are in the way and work around it. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm super excited. I hope you're excited. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, is this still going to be a lot of me running in circles, trying to figure out where to go next? You betcha, absolutely. Would it be a Sinnoh video if I knew exactly what I was doing? No, no it wouldn't. I live for the chaos, thank you. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just gonna start with organizing my pockets because apparently that bothers me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna start with cutting down the trees. Um, I need them out of the way. This is a city. We ain't got room for trees here. Uh-uh. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just gonna start with chopping them all down and then I'm gonna pick it up and, you know, all that fun stuff. Also, I just noticed the lights were on the trees. That was the first time I noticed that because I haven't actually been on my island in days. I've been only in the airport. I've been perpetually stuck in the airport at the time of recording this, of course. I'm still salty about it though. I've had time to heal. I haven't healed. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was intense. All that all that villager hunting. That that was so before Meringue, my longest villager hunt was 137 tickets for Tangi, the first Japanese island I did. And that was my longest. Meringue more than doubled Tangi's amount. <sighs> yeah, I almost fell out of my chair when I saw Meringue. I almost fell out of my chair and started crying. It was a lot. It was it was an emotional moment for me, honestly. <laughs> um, but anyway, so my last video I know was a mess. Um, this video is not much better, <laughs> sorry. But I was really struggling because orig my original plan was that I was going to do two neighborhoods of five houses and then, you know, stick my house wherever it would fit. Um, but I just couldn't find enough room. I couldn't find enough room. I found one spot that could, you know, do the five houses just fine, but I couldn't find another spot that could comfort comfortably, sorry, fit five houses as well. So, I had to think about it. I had to take a step back and separate the houses. And it just, it really sparked inspiration in me. I wanted to get this done, but I couldn't because I was villager hunting. So, you know, I decided to do it anyway, though. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm getting rid of the little neighborhood I originally had so that I can repave over it and figure out the new spots of the houses um it's still gonna take me a couple of tries just so you know so bear with me i will get there i promise <laughs> and then that was me realizing that hey these two roads are very unreasonably close together i need to do something about that <laughs> So now I'm just laying down the new spots for a handful of the houses. Um, I managed to fit three in this area for now. So I'm pretty sure it's three. I don't know, we're gonna find out together apparently. I don't even remember what I did, amazing.
Now I'm just trying to figure out how I can lift this road to get it away from the entrance roundabout. And looky there, I figured it out. Look at me figuring things out. What a concept. Amazing, honestly. <laughs> okay, so keep in mind um, how much I'm about to pave with three spaces. Got the two edges and then the middle, okay? The road is only three spaces because I wanted to save as much room for decorating as I can. However, I came to the realization that maybe, maybe three is not the best idea. You'll see, you'll see. It's, um, <laughs> yeah. It's fine, I spoiled it anyway. So I'm doing all this. Just, just to undo it. But at the same time, I do also want to show, just in case, um, if anyone's wondering how to do a city road, um, not that I'm very well qualified to teach, apparently. I have to redo what I do, like, you know, six times over and over. But anyway, um, no, I've had my fair share of angled roads and everything, so just in case anyone's curious, that's why I left this part in. So you can get a bit of an overview on how to path a road because it was very difficult for me at first so hopefully hopefully this will help also i have not posted my road codes yet please bear with me like i said i still want to fix a few things but <laughs> i'm still behind on editing and i'm <laughs> i'm trying trying to not do this last minute um but here I am doing it last minute it's fine I love what I do no I really do I'm sorry that, <laughs> that was really sarcastic for absolutely no reason anyway yeah so now I'm just filling in the center um on the angled parts it does get a bit complicated um what helps me visualize it more is to just go ahead and fill in those corner pieces so that way I can clearly see what the true middle section is. And it just makes it a little bit easier for me. And maybe it'll make it easier for you too. Who knows? <laughs> and that was me realizing I wanted I, w I want the road to be bigger because I, I knew I wanted cars. So I was debating I'm like, is it worth it? should I I decided to so I'm not gonna you know make you watch nearly as much <laughs> of me doing this like the first time um but if if you want a better tutorial me doing this slower and actually like showing what to do like if, if this doesn't make sense because if it doesn't honestly that's fine i understand i'm a mess <laughs> um but if you want or need a better tutorial let me know i will definitely refilm it and or not like refilm it but just like slow it down um and actually explain the process a little bit better if if you want if you want a little bit of help in case you want to do a city um a city island as well. I mean, I'm not doing anything different, but someone in my live stream recently just started playing in September of this year. So there's always going to be newbies, which is great. Welcome to the community. So if you need help, let me know. <laughs> But yeah, so doing it five spaces wide was a lot better. Um, yes, it, it takes up a little bit more space, but for me personally, it just looks a little bit more realistic, which is something I like. Um, 
you know, at the end of the day, it's Animal Crossing and there's only so much you can do. Um, so at the, you know, just <sighs> at the end of the day, it is only so much you can do. It's not going to look absolutely realistic, but, but I would rather redo a project six times and be happy with the final result then be lazy and not redo it and be unhappy with the final result luckily though i only had to repave once i didn't have to do it six times i probably would have lost my mind i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'm just being honest But now, so I'm just filling in with the solid road spaces where everything needs to go. And you'll notice, so like I did start filling in some cracks and cherry blossom spots, but eventually I do decide I'm just gonna keep everything plain and normal. And honestly, that's what I did on Sage Cove. It's, it's up to you. I'm not gonna say it's a better strategy or anything with filling in a lot of spaces but for me personally it just works it works a little better in my head that I just do everything plain and then go back and figure out okay where do I want the cherry blossoms the cracks so that way I'm not sitting there in one section switching back and forth between um between custom designs oh yeah and I finally realized that this was the moment I realized that I, I was I was uneven <sighs> in my roundabout. It's fine. Um, also, coming up, <laughs> it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a mess, but I'm showing you. I'm showing you this mess. So, you know, not everything's not everything is perfect and beautiful in Animal Crossing. Some things take time and brain power. And maybe a few tears. Just a few. So, anyway. So, like I said, I switched to the roads being five wide. But now the, the roundabout is a bit too small in comparison. And just looks kind of wonky. So, I'm trying to figure out what the hell I can do to fix this. And right here, I am soaking in as much brain power as I possibly can. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out how a roundabout would work along a five space road. Now, I, I always feel like my brain works differently. <laughs> than other people. Hi, I have ADHD. So I'm going to do my best to explain what I'm doing. If it doesn't make sense, please let me know in the comments. I will happily try to reword my explanations. Okay. So basically my thought process was what if the road split instead of having both lanes on both sides, it just split. So you know, the right lane goes up, the left lane goes down, or how, however it works in Japan. I know they're opposite of us. I just said words. I don't know if that's actually how it works though. I do it right though when I start to lay, <laughs> when I start to lay out my cars though, they're going the right way, I promise. Anyway, <laughs> so that was my thought process. I was like, okay, what if, what if it just split off? And then I had a nice little, kind of like a circle in the center, um, and see how that works so obviously instead of working a little bit more and kicking up everything I'm working over what I had which makes it a little bit more complicated and chaotic to look at but we get through it we work it out as always so now I'm just filling in that center part um, just kind of going back and forth making sure actually making sure to the best of my ability that everything's even um something is not even though but it, it, i catch it this time i catch it in this video i realize my mistake in this video 
amazing. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm just filling in around the roads and now I gotta put back in the road lines and fill in the little itty bitty corners just to make everything look smooth. Now it's, it's not necessary if you wanna save on custom design spaces, those four with the tiny white corners. Um, it drives me insane though. <laughs> if someone else doesn't fill it in, I don't care. For me personally on my island that I have to look at every single day, it drives me insane. So I, I have to have them. <laughs> So I also only have so many custom design spaces left. So I just want to cut down as much as possible. So I don't have like a roundabout warning sign or anything. So I'm just using the diamond. Use your imagination. It's fine. It, it works. <sighs> So do, do you do you see the mistake? We're gonna have our Dora moment here. Do you see what's wrong? Yeah, that side wasn't long enough. So there's more space on the right side than the left. But I caught it, I caught it in this, in this recording session. So that's great. So happy for me. <laughs> Yeah, if there's one thing I'm not going to cover up or lie to you guys about is how much of a mess I am. Not everything is sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> I'll be the first one to tell you that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so now I'm just observing it, making sure everything looks good. And honestly, it does. Thank you. <laughs> No, I'm just, uh, I'm so happy with how this island's coming out. Granted, I haven't really built much. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I'm still just prepping and trying to get as many items as I can. I've just been, I've been lazy. I'm not going to lie. I just haven't wanted to because between editing and live streaming and now I'm playing more Minecraft with my friend, it's becoming a problem. Please save me from myself. <laughs> I just haven't taken the time and actually like farmed these items, if you will. <laughs> so now I just want to extend this row just a little bit just to make sure, you know, it's what I want. It looks good. It works. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing right now. And I'm just placing the cars close enough to the roundabout that hopefully it will force the eye to understand what's going on here without me having to put extra signage out because like I said your girl is already struggling <laughs> with her design space amount I don't know how to word that any better I'm sorry <laughs> And now I'm just getting ready to redecorate the area. I am using a lot of the same items, a um, few, few different ones, a um, few less ones. Like I'm not using the pagoda. Wow, the pagodas. If I could speak, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, or the little like message bamboo. I can't remember what they're called because it's kind of a long word. Uh, you know, the pretty ones that like drape over and they have the little messages on them and you click them and it's, 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 it's a fun guessing game of who wrote this. <laughs> yeah, those. I'm not using those here. I think I'm actually going to save them just for the onsen area. Because they just have more of that vibe, you know? And since I'm going for more city except for the onsen area, that's what I'm going to do. That I haven't even, <laughs> I have not even started there. It is still covered in weeds and trees. But yes, so anyway, so I just filled in 
a lot of that sidewalk area. I figured that's easy enough. I'm just doing the same square over and over and over again. But then for here, remember my last video, I put Nook's Cranny right back here. I also got distracted by a snowman. I love, I love building them and purposely making them as wonky as possible. So that's what we're doing. We're just gonna take a moment and have fun. <laughs> um, anyway. So I put Nook's Crannies all the way in the back and I was trying to figure out where to put the museum. My first thought was also in the back with Crannies, but I wasn't 100% sure. But then, but then my brain juices, a, a, a new wrinkle formed in my brain. Obviously not in this moment <laughs> with me building the snowman, but when I was mapping things out, trying to figure out, you know, the flow of my island, I developed a new wrinkle. I had a, brain, a big brain moment. So I did decide to put the museum back there. So that's what I'm, that's what I was originally doing until I saw the snowball. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, now I'm just building the area for the museum. You're gonna notice, you're gonna notice a little gap. I'm leaving. There is a reason for that. Don't yell at me. I promise there's a reason. Stay tuned. <laughs> So yeah, this is the basic shape. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the shape for what I need here. Um, which again, stay tuned. You'll see, you'll see soon enough. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. I want you to be as surprised as I was when I thought of it. Um, so now I'm just gonna fill in this area really quick. You know, fill her in. And again, just ignore the gap. I'm gonna work on it. I'm just double counting the spaces, making sure, making sure I, I, I did it okay. <laughs> Cause with me, you never know. I, I always need a triple check. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna start laying out the, um, the items again. I just went ahead and bought new trees cause I was dumping out my pockets and I just ended up throwing away the old trees. Whoops. <laughs> but just gonna add some round street lights. I just feel like they look a little bit more, uh, I don't know, not like futuristic, but just advanced compared to the other street lamps, which like for a smaller town, like they looked so good in Stagecove, the, like the pointy ones. Do you know, do you know what I'm talking about? If you don't, that's okay. That's okay, you don't have to lie to me. <laughs> um, anyway, but for this island and this city, the round street lights I think look a lot better. Also, like I said, I've been lazy and not farming items like I need to be. So I don't have the item that's going to officially go in the middle there, but I figured, I figured out an item and it looks so good and I'm so excited. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. It's the uh, the pine, the big pine tree, the big bonsai tree. Um, I put it in the middle, it fits perfectly and it looks so freaking good. It looks so good and I'm so happy. I just don't have the item on me for today's video. Whoops. Plan ahead, kids. <laughs> And if you know anything about cities in Japan, they love their vending machines. So I'm just going to be smacking those bad boys down left and right. The bamboo grass. That's what that's called. Wow. I'm glad I caught that. So yeah, so the bamboo grass is going in the onsen area. Amazing. <laughs> 
And now I'm just adding a bit of decoration, doing a little Koropi snack up on top. Now I'm just going to add in some utility poles just to, just to modernize the place. Why not? Why not? Got to do a little garbage can. Got to keep the town clean, even though I'm totally slapping down some garbage bags right next to it. <laughs> it's fine. I was hoping that the book worked like a lost item, that you could place it on the bench. I'm pretty sure you could place like a lost item on the bench. I could be wrong though. I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe, maybe it was like the log bench that I'm thinking of and not the garden bench. I don't know. Anyway, I couldn't place the book there. So I just put it on top of the vending machine because someone set it up there and got their drinky drink and then forgot. But anyway, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I got a lot done. I filled in a lot of space. Definitely have a good foundation going for the roads right now. Um, once again, if you want a better tutorial, you want me to slow this footage down and explain it a little bit better, I would be more than happy to. Just please let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you like longer videos, and I'm talking hours long, I... I do stream right here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8.30 p.m. So definitely stick around for that if you would like to subscribe if you're not already. I do post in the community tab too whenever I am going to go live. Like the video if you like it and dislike it if you don't. I understand. But other than that, I do post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And also, thank you so much for getting me to 100 subscribers. That is amazing. Thank you so much. And I appreciate every single one of you. I just want you to know that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.